it's Nick Carranza here. And, uh, you know, as many of you probably know, I was gone in Europe for, for a little while. Tom and I both were, were gone for, uh, for about a month each. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not talking about the Europe vacation, but what I'm talking about is while we were there, what it allowed us to do was to really just kind of sit back and you start thinking differently. You start looking at things a little bit differently. And sometimes you really just kind of look at... Because you're not so caught up in, in some day-to-day -day th things, you know, kind of all the, all the chaos that's going on, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but, but sometimes it can be, um, uh, it, allowed you, it allowed us to just kind of reflect on some more kind of simple things. We're getting asked a lot of questions from uh, some of our relatives and friends over there about exactly, you know, what is it that we're looking for in real estate? And, you know, what about the markets with things going up and down? And, what, you know, how do we, we see these things? And it's something that we really um, we look at all the time here as well. It's, it's, it's one of the biggest questions we get. And I just want to revisit something. It's a very, very kind of simple thing. And sometimes you just need to take a step back and look at things in a more simplistic manner to get an understanding of them. Because in today's market, everyone's talking about, well, is it overinflated, underinflated, with low interest rates, you know, and, and like we, we discussed in the last video, um, interest rates look like they're going to be staying low for some time for a variety of reasons. Um, let's just touch on something quickly. If we have the price of home, so we have our price of home, and let's just say this is, this is historically, so we're looking at an investment property, we're looking to purchase real estate as an investment, here's what happens you know, generally with the price of homes in, in real estate, right? And this is across the board, this is across Canada, across North America, across the world, really, this is what happens with, with the price of homes. Um, you know, they will go up and down uh, at different rates, right? So generally we have the price of homes, sometimes they go up a little bit slowly, they level off, they might come down, then sometimes we have these spikes, then it comes down again, goes up, you know, whatever, it kind of goes all over the place like this. You know, whatever the, whatever the graph is, that doesn't really matter. Here's what we have with rents. These are generally what, ha what happens with rents here. And we'll just make a smaller graph for rents. Rents generally, what will happen over time, is you usually get a trend line, just kind of slowly inching upwards. And this is even more true in Ontario, actually, because in Ontario we have a lot of these rent controls. Some of them are crazy, some of them maybe not, but, but a lot of the times, because of uh, increased costs, the rent controls cannot be the best thing for you know, some of our, our property, or us as property owners, but it is what it is. But the one thing rent controls allow for is it usually doesn't allow rents to dip too much. So overall, in the majority of places, you're going to see rent that will generally look like this. In fact, in some of the, the hardest, place hit, uh, hardest hit places in the U.S. during their uh, real estate downturn, in their, um, their rents would actually, they, they weren't affected that much. Some, some places that, that we have friends, the, the property values went down by 30, 40%, but the rents generally, if they were going up like this, the rents kind of leveled off and maybe dipped a little bit. Nowhere near what happened to the property values. So here's what's happened. So this is, this is how we need to look to, to invest. This is why we invest in real estate. This is why we think that, you know, how we look at these investments. So look, if we take this line and we apply it here, Right? So we apply our rents, just slowly it goes up, right? Then whatever happens to this underlying number, this underlying value of the property, it doesn't really matter as much because the rents are consistently going up. So if we purchase ahead of time knowing that our rent will cover our carrying costs for the property, plus some cash flow for ourselves every month, that's why we're looking to invest in real estate. That's how we invest in real estate. Simple concept. Sometimes you just gotta kind of break it down into kind of a graphical matter. So, you know, when, we have, when I have a new investor that comes up to me and says, hey, well, what do you think is gonna to happen to the market? I'm not going to invest right now because I think the market may be a little bit overheated. You know, and, and he might be right, depending on which market, what area, what type of property. Because when people talk about real estate markets, you can't just talk about the Toronto market or whatever the case may be. In, in Toronto specifically, you have to talk about the, the condo market and the, the housing market is two totally separate things because they, they act totally differently. And, and even you know, within Toronto, there's different areas. I mean, there's, that's a whole conversation for another day. But, but when some people ask us about, well, what do you think about the market? Here's the thing. We saw, we saw some investors that have waited for the last four years keep, keep saying they're going to get into the market because they, they're waiting for the price to pull back. Well, you know what? You've left so much money on the table right now, it's probably, you know, you're going to keep waiting for another four years and then you'll still be behind the eight ball. But what the case, the, the point is, it doesn't matter because if the, the, the price of the property goes along and it starts 
fluctuating up and down no matter where it goes, as long as you have this, as long as you've been purchased properly so that your, uh, your rent will cover the price of the property, that's where you want to be. Because now you have other people that are paying off this asset for you. It's an income producing asset or a self liquidating asset. Simple, simple concept. There's a lot of stuff going on with well, the real estate market and all the headlines um, and the newspapers that I've seen since I've been back from Europe. So I just thought you know, to touch on that because it's such a, it was eye-opening to some people and it's the way we explain it uh, to simple investors. Simple point, you, you, the, the money, the stability of your investment is really when you purchase it, if you're purchasing right and you're going, you're going for that monthly cash flow, that's why we invest for this monthly cash flow. That's why a lot of big time stock investors will invest for dividends, they buy, they buy controlling shares of companies because what they do is they take that cash, they take the cash flow and they reinvest it into the companies. There's a, there's a really uh, a popular analogy to this right now Warren Buffett's, uh, if you look at the Berkshire Hathaway uh, uh, annual reports, you'll see that Warren Buffett's, the income from his dividends on his Coca-Cola shares are greater than what he purchased for, that Coca-Cola shares for. So he's actually getting more income. So when he had made that investment, he was looking for those dividends. He was investing for cash flow. It's the same reason as real estate investors, we invest for cash flow. Same principles, it applies across the board to a lot of successful investors, a lot of successful investments. And sometimes when we're in the middle of it and we're being bombarded with all the next great opportunity, the next get rich quick, you know, whatever the case may be, we forget about the most basic thing that we have to look at, the tried, tested, and true, proven formula for making things work. So just wanted to touch on that today. Until next time, your life, your terms.